Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Well, first off, congratulations uh, to uh, the Virginia uh, Citizens Defense League. Uh, if you're not a member of their newsletter and you want to keep up with what's going on in Virginia, uh, you should sign up for that. Uh, but uh, great job, guys, and everybody that showed up to support them at the rally. Uh, fantastic. Like, couldn't have been any better. You guys were totally awesome. And you cleaned up your own mess. Isn't that funny? When the right has a protest, no matter what it is, we don't throw trash all over the place. Isn't that amazing? Really. I mean, really, it says a lot about our character and who we are. So, great job. Now, some guys gave me flack because I went to SHOT Show instead of going to that uh, event. I get it, but a couple things. Number one, most of these people didn't go either. They're just pointing at me. But also, I didn't bump into any of them when I was with the Bundys at Bundy Ranch. I didn't bump into any, any of them. And if uh, and I don't remember any of them backing me up with my uh, 2012 rant video where I said, we're not going to take any more bullshit uh, from our government. Um, and uh, the world came down on me there, and I found out who my friends were very quickly. I digress. Tim's new favorite phrase. Uh, you heard me say it, so he thinks it's his now. Um, people keep talking about this Virginia thing might become our second civil war. And I disagree with that. I disagree completely with that. I think it might be our second revolutionary war. And uh, so, in blue revolutionary war stuff, uh, Britain versus the 13 colonies, uh, 1775 to 1783, basically... <laughs> uh, causes taxation, very strict rules, impractical reg regulation, and the straw that broke the camel's back that came for the guns. Straw that broke the camel's back. Civil War, North versus South, Union versus Confederate States of America, 1861-1865, causes uh, slavery. A lot of people say, well, slavery wasn't really a cause. Every one of the southern states, when they when they formed the Confederate States of, Confederate States, states, states of America, the elected representatives... <laughs> All gave exit speeches, all cited slavery. Slavery was part of it, uh, not all of it. We all understand that, but it was. Um, and but, but basically, government overreach, government overreach was the cause. Now, some people in the North say, "Well, the South is mad because we lost." Well, that's uh, it's a very simple it's a very simple view. Basically, we we were mad because we had a after the war. Uh, we had an occupying army that raped and pillaged and a 90-something percent tax rate on goods and services. Uh, but uh, they don't write that in history books uh, for, for the northern folks. And so um, so this thing in Virginia could kick off the Second Revolutionary War. If we look at the causes, taxation, strict rules, and practical re regulations and guns, that is not the same. It's not the same for a civil war. And a civil war would also mean country versus country, north versus south. Well, this will be interspread. Um, basically, about right down the line, half the country is, or more, is for private ownership of guns, and whatever percent is not. And I think you'll see <laughs> neighbor versus neighbor, not state versus state, uh, if something kicks off. And and I certainly don't want anything to happen. I don't want there to be any kind of fighting or war. Uh, but the left needs to understand they they're obviously they're gaining speed, they're gaining momentum, and they and they obviously think that we're just going to let this pass by. And so I, I implore the citizens, the good citizens of Virginia, um, uh, to 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 keep up the fight. Uh, I've I've sent money to donate. I encourage you and the other forty nine states to send money to the Virginia Citizens Defense League uh, and get this stuff going. And I know. People are like, well, who's helping? Well, I know the GOA is there. I know the NRA is there doing things. A lot of people say that they're not, but there's a lot of groups that are helping. Uh, keep being the cooler head. They're making threats. They're talking about coming into our houses. They're talking about all these things, and we are the calm ones. It kind of reminds me of Inglorious Bastards, and uh, the Englishman goes in to talk to Stieglitz, and he's sharpening his knife on the, the, the strop. Shing! Shing. And the Englishman goes, now when we go in down there, I need everybody, I can't remember if get words, we need to stay calm. And Stiglitz, shing, shing. He says, don't I look calm to you? And the Englishman says, well, now that you put it that way, of course. And so keep being calm. And <laughs> to, to, 
to quote Roadhouse, be nice until it's time to not be nice. And so uh, what I'm telling you is be better than them. Don't, not that any of you would, but don't post threats on social media. Don't target specific people. If you need to make a statement, make a broad statement. Don't, don't talk about any one particular person. Uh, be the better person. Be the, hold the moral high ground. Hold the ethical high ground. And, um, and what these people are going to find out if they keep pushing is the moral and ethical high ground sometimes will involve a spotter. This is James Jager for Tap Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight, and it might be coming, never ends.